Hello, let's now look at question 7. Impure copper is purified using electrolysis. Name the electrolyte used during the purification of copper. Now, for you to answer this question, you must have done some practice on which type of electrode we use whenever we are trying to purify copper, that is to say, turn impure copper into copper using electrolysis. And in this case, we have to use an electrolyte that contains copper to ions and the most common one will be the copper to sulfate solution so since we're talking about electrolyte we have to be specific with the word solution because you can have copper to sulfate as a solid and that one will not be an electrolyte so a solid cannot work that's why we prefer copper to sulfate solution as our electrolyte write an equation for the reaction at the anode now for this we shall need a setup to aid our our eyes so that we can somehow comprehend what we are talking about so when you look at this setup we have the positively charged electrode this is our anode and the negatively charged will be the cathode so usually in purification of copper using electrolysis we have the impure copper as the anode and the pure copper as the cathode. I won't be so detailed in this video but I have a similar video on electrolysis of copper to sulfate using copper electrodes. So what exactly happens at the anode? Now usually we know that whatever happens at the anode or cathode normally depends on what we have as our electrolyte but in some cases the nature of the electrode also plays a big role nature of the electrode so if you have to look at this setup here our electrodes are both made of copper pure copper and impure copper together with copper to sulfate solution so copper 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 everywhere so what normally happens in this setup when the switch is closed we shall start seeing this impure copper electrode dissolving it will start reducing size and then we shall see the impurities falling here down and then we shall see the copper part of the impure copper going into solution so what actually happens is that we shall be having our copper solid the copper that is part of the impure copper will actually lose two electrons and then it will dissolve when a metal loses two electrons, it forms an iron. So this is what will happen at the anode. But because we dislike subtracting electrons, we shall take the electrons to the right hand side and then we shall say the, the copper solid will lose two electrons to form copper to ions, which will now be in aqueous form. They will go and join the copper to sulfate solution. So this will be the equation at the anode. Now at the cathode, cathode is negatively charged. We shall see post positively charged copper ions in the solution will get attracted to the negatively charged cathode. And in the deep process, we shall see a reverse of the first equation. The positively charged copper to ions will pick two electrons from our cathode, which is negatively charged, meaning it has a high number of electrons then it will become discharged we shall remove the charge so our copper two ions are in solution when they gain two electrons they will form back the copper and will change state and precipitate kind of out as a solid so our second equation will be the copper two ions will pick two electrons or gain two electrons to form copper solid so this is the equation at the cathode. Still, for you to come up with such equations, you must have some prior knowledge of how we purify copper using electrolysis. State what is observed at the end of the process. So at the end, when the process is complete, what is observed? Now, when we close the switch and leave it to stand until the end of the setup, Yes, impurities, it's one of the things we shall observe, but this is minor, we shall not talk about it so much. But one thing we shall note is that we shall see a brown solid being deposited at the cathode. 
Yeah, you are still free to talk about the impurities. It's also an observation. We can't refuse that. So a brown solid is deposited at the cathode. Come back to our Roman 2. At the cathode, we have copper solid being formed. And copper, we notice brown. So we shall see a brown solid being deposited here. So this is copper being deposited. That's why we shall be saying this is pure copper because we are actually getting copper from the solution. So the copper that will be deposited here will be actually pure copper. And because it is brown, all we shall see is a brown solid. We can't say copper is deposited. We shall see what we observe. We shall see a brown solid in real life situation. So a brown solid is deposited at the cathode. Now this is something that you can talk about if at all you know situations whereby the electrolyte will change its color. But in this case, the electrolyte will remain a blue solution. We know that copper to sulfate solution is blue due to the copper to ions. So it will remain blue because as the copper to ions are being removed at the cathode, at the same time we have copper to ions being replaced from the impure copper. So basically at the end, when this whole anode has dissolved, we shall still remain having the blue copper to ions in solution. So the solution will remain blue. It's also an observation because in some cases the color can be lost. It can become colorless. State what would be observed if a clean iron nail was placed into the electrolyte you named in A. Now the electrolyte we named is copper to sulfate. So what happens when we put our iron nails in copper to sulfate. So this is what will happen. Here we have our copper to sulfate and here we have the iron nail. Now we know that iron is higher than copper in reactivity series. So iron will actually displace copper. So iron will displace copper from its solution to form iron to sulfate. And then we shall see a brown substance again being formed. So actually our copper to sulfate, we have already said it is blue. So what actually happens? The gray solid, this is the iron, so we are saying iron nail because yes, you, can, you might say iron nail, but when we are observing, we shall see a gray solid, which is our iron. It will dissolve in the blue solution, which is the copper to sulfate solution, this one here, and a brown solid being formed. So we shall see a brown solid being formed. However, the copper to solution will turn green. We know presence of iron to ions is well known for having a green coloration. So the blue solution will turn green and we shall also see a brown solid being formed due to the formation of the copper. So we shall see a brown solid coating on this nail here. So that's what we shall observe. A gross solid dissolves, the blue solution turns green, and a brown solid is formed. That's all I had for you for this question. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.